We at Toby Dynavox are excited to introduce the aphasia pages. The tools provided were developed specifically with the communication needs of people with aphasia in mind. In this video, you will learn how to access the aphasia pages in SnapCore first. To be able to explore the aphasia pages, you need to be using SnapCore first version 1.10 or later. Find the version you are running by selecting Edit, then System, then About. If you are not running Snap Core First 1.10 or later, go to the iOS or Windows Store, depending on the system you are using, and check for updates. Be sure to back up your current user first. To back up, first make sure you are logged in to your My Toby Dynavox account. To do this from edit mode, first select user. Here you will see whether or not you are logged on. Connect to a Wi-Fi network and then sync using the cloud icon. Then you can access the aphasia pages a few ways. If you are using SnapCore first for the first time, you will be able to select aphasia as your page set when going through the Get Started menu. First, you'll select Get Started, then Show More, and scroll until you see aphasia. Then complete the rest of the steps to the process by entering in your MyToby Dynavox account, choosing a name for your user, selecting a voice, and choosing the appropriate grid size. If you already have a user in SnapCore first, but want to access the aphasia pages, you can either create a new user and use the Get Started menu as previously shown, or add a new page set to your current user. To create a new user, select Edit, User, then your current user, and then New User. To add the aphasia pages to your current user, select Edit, Page Set, select the current page set, select Create Page Set, find aphasia page set from the list, and select Next. Give your page set a name, and finally select Create. Select Done to exit edit mode, and now you're ready to use the new aphasia pages.